So, I am going to make pasta con vongole. So, spaghetti. I know a lot of times people like linguine. I don't happen to like that because I feel that it's, everything slides off the linguine. Whereas this, the pasta uh, clings to it or it clings to the pasta. And I'm gonna throw in a bunch of salt, don't be afraid. So we have to give that a moment to, to boil. <clears throat> pasta vongole can be made so many different ways. Sometimes people make it with pepperoncino, which we'll do today. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they make it with a little bit of uh, fresh tomato also. Uh, and some people put white wine, some people put cream. But today we're gonna do it so like really, really simple. Just um, no white wine, olive oil, garlic, clams, parsley, salt. That's it, pepperoncino. So a little bit of olive oil. One of the only times I ever used finely chopped garlic is in this dish. You really want that to cook down and emulsify, not burn. So now the pasta is going to go in. Boiling away nine to 12 minutes, depending upon the kind of pasta. The garlic has been cooked down. I'm gonna throw in a little pepperoncino. And once that sort of, you know, cooks down a little bit, you get the flavor into the garlic, the clams are gonna go in. So, sometimes the pan can be scratched by the shells of the clams. But that's not happening, is it? Okay, so let those open. So the cool thing about this, this, you don't have to do this thing, because often you, you, you take a pasta water and you save it, so, which means, because you're gonna use it to integrate the final dish. Um, so with this, you don't have to. Pull this thing out. Pasta, dump the pasta in. Pasta water is still there. Scoop it out, put it in. You don't have to do all this. There are like, you're saving like three steps, which is great. I'm just gonna toss it all up. Now the heat gets shut off. No cheese, ever. Extra virgin olive oil. And then, this. Prezzemolo. And that's that. 